Max Dietnight, who is following community reaction to this latest news today. Max. Yeah, hey, Mandy, people here in this neighborhood say they are relieved tonight. We talked to some of the neighbors and other people who were frequenting this, these restaurants here off of Y down this evening. We broke that news to them that police do have a suspect. Here's some of what they had to say. A quiet Thursday evening in this corner of Clayton and a collective sigh of relief. Hail Mary, I just, I'm so <laughs> yeah, glad really. because it's very scary. I mean, we're walking down the street thinking, do we want to go to this restaurant or do we not? You know, and I'm like, this is a safe place and people are walking around. Some who live here off Y Down are still processing what happened Monday morning. It's alarming, you know, to think that there was a shooting in an area that I frequent almost every day. And I mean walking. Neighbor Rob Rose says they welcome news that police have a suspect with open arms. And I think it'll bring some calm to the community. The people that live around here are alarmed. I, we haven't had a uh, homicide like this in a very long time. So these are the quiet, friendly streets of Clayton. Meanwhile, people who visit this part of town say Monday's tragedy won't stop them from coming down here. I mean, I'm out here getting dinner, so it doesn't really, I guess, scare me off since it's not something that usually you hear about happening here often. And some of those people we talked to expressed extreme gratitude to the detectives who have been working on this case all week. We've seen them up and down Wide Down Boulevard collecting evidence, looking at surveillance video. Make sure to stay with Fox 2. We're going to keep close tabs on this manhunt as it unfolds. But for now, live in Clayton, Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.